is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym, Mark Bauer and Blue Water here for the weigh-in for the Maximum Nutrition Final. Fight on the bill, Lenny Dawes. Not, you're not fighting the bill, Ian, are you? No. I no? could be if he gets beaten on 11. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, the challenge of Fadvi tomorrow night. Um, you put together three straight wins since your disappointing, controversial defeat to DeRocco. Uh, you still chasing a fight with DeRocco, though, Lenny? Definitely, yeah. If it, you know, we win, we win Saturday, why can't it happen, you know? So, it's, it's just a another title for me to win and it's going to put me in pole position for that whether he vacates whether we get the rematch we'll have to just wait and see what, what, how it's going to plan out mm. how much do you know about Fadley? well we know his record we know he's taller we haven't seen much footage um, but yeah we're just going to be very cautious early on and just as a fan uh, you know as, as it plans out just uh, take it round by round really you know what I mean and suss him out as best we can yeah mm. Knocking on the door again is Lenny, Ian. Yeah, no, absolutely, for sure. I mean, get the win tomorrow night and then obviously that creates more opportunities to come Lenny's way. So, you know, we're confident Mick will pull something off for us, whatever it is, and, uh, and then just look to move him forward, to be honest with you, mate. But just important to keep him active while them things are going on behind yeah. the scenes. Oh, no, without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, once the, as soon as we could get the Di Rocco defeat out of the way and sort of let everything settle down, then we wanted to get him out. And he's kept busy, he's kept in the gym. So, you know, we've had a good camp for this one. So we're really sort of like looking to going to do something on this tomorrow night and then go forward from now. Mm. In a fantastic career you've already had Lenny, what's left in what's left in the tank for Lenny Dawes? Is it still as much as there was five years ago? I think yeah, I'm still, as you say, I'm, I'm an old fighter but, you know I won't call you old by the way. No, I know but a lot of people do, <laughs> you know but I'm still learning all the time yeah. there's still plenty left, you know what I mean, definitely because I'm, I'm as fit as a fiddle um, and yeah, and you're going to see Saturday how good I am, you know what I mean, so there's still plenty left in the tank. Mm. Uh, your division domestically seems to have like not dropped off a little bit, but it's kind of it goes under the limelight a little bit where there's no one really standing out uh, in that division particularly, if it's my opinion. But any, any ideas to go back to your uh, and reclaim your old belt? Definitely, yeah. But as you say, we want to push on for the European. If it doesn't happen, then maybe we'll have to look at that route. But I'd love to to win out of Lonsdale. You know what I mean? It's, all fighters want to win that. I've only got the one to go, so I'd love, I'd love to get hold of that again. But yeah, we're pushing on to bigger and better things, and hopefully we can do it. Who do you rate in the division domestically at the moment, currently, out of the fighters that are there? You've got to look at Saunders; yeah. he's probably the standout coming through. Yeah. I mean, I know Lemon's won it, you know, and he's obviously he looked good against Woodhouse. Um, but then you've got sort of like, you've got Ricky Boyle and fighting, you know, he's just sort of got beat by Good John. Good John's going to look the proof mm. forward. You got. Dave Ryan, it's also quite competitive. Yeah. It's yeah. times. It's, it's going to be one of them, like Lenny said. It's going to be he's going to have it for a, a little while. Then he'll have it. Someone else will have it. But you've got Saunders is probably the one that everyone sort of. But it's still a prospect in terms of number of fights in Lenny. Absolutely, league. yeah. Look, nine They're fights. Learning. You know, it's all it's very competitive now. Mm. But as I say, with Lenny, we, you know, riding off the back of the European, which all right, you know, on the record, it's a defeat. But it proved in that that he is that sort of class, and really, it's what we want to do is, is move him on to that class. And if there's not the opportunity for the European, then maybe look past it at international titles or something like that. Mm, definitely. Well, listen, we wish you the best of luck for, for tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be here, you, fights live on Channel 5. I'm under strict instructions not to mention the other fella. Is there another fella in him? Well, no, it's only me that does IFL TV. Yes, but I thought. You told me not to, I'm not allowed to mention his name. So we can refer him to him as, I don't know, Iron Horse. He didn't say I couldn't do that. That's true. That's yeah. true. That's yeah. true. No, because I think the Cassius program on Box Nation is really good. It is, isn't it? You made yeah. your appearance on it on the trainers yeah, edition. I did, thank you, that sparked yeah. massive like controversy and all the other trainers in the country saying, you know, why weren't we on it? Why weren't we on it? It's because I slipped yeah. the other geezer, a tenner. A tenner. <laughs> He's cheap. He, he is. is cheap. He gave me change and all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, we'll catch up with you after the fight tomorrow night. All right? Yeah, thanks, Best good. of luck. Thanks, Thank Kogan. Thank you, Tom, Cheers, mate. mate.